What's going on everyone? This is Lee, the Video Game Tour Guy, and today we're going to be talking about 2022. Specifically, we're looking at landmines to avoid, avoid. Basically, these are the things you don't want to step on next year. If you are an existing video game truck business owner or a virtual reality game truck business owner, uh, or maybe you're just getting into it. So these are some of the things I believe people should be aware of. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think this goes not just for a video game truck or virtual reality game truck business, but just things in general. Um, so I hope you enjoy this information. So the first thing that I'm going to say is that if next year, if you have no clear general direction, now clear general direction means you at least have an idea where you're going, as in you don't have five or six or seven different business ideas you have one business idea. You don't know everything about it yet, maybe, but you know at least in what general direction you're going to be moving. And that's very important because if you have no general direction, right, if you have five or six businesses potentially moving on around in your head, uh, you could be possibly spinning your wheels and not getting anything done. And before you know it, it's 2023, right? So first of all, I would say, have a clear direction as to where you're moving, right? Uh, and, and we're going to cover some of the uh, other topics that will uh, interject into this. So the second thing is uh, bad strategy. So if you know where you're moving to or if you have certain goals that you want to achieve within your business, but you have gaps in the sequence of your strategy, that's where there's a lot of potential problems. And so... As you sit down, and I do encourage you to sit down before next year hits, uh, it's sort of a, a worldwide tradition to do resolutions. Uh, don't make it a resolution, but make it a plan of action, right? Write out a strategy and then try and, to, and, try and understand what parts may be missing, right? Because if you have a strategy in place, but it is an incomplete picture, even though you understand in which direction you're moving to, the gaps could potentially be very, very harmful, right? So that's important. So you need to A, know where you're going, and two, have a roadmap. <laughs> Without a roadmap, you, you, you might get there, but it's highly unlikely, speaking from experience. Next thing is, if you are opening your business, or if you have been, you know, maybe you're new to the business, if you are not truly pushing that business for at least one year, you don't have a, a year minimum commitment. And that's really bad in my opinion, right? That's called draining the gas tank. This happens when someone enters into a business, not necessarily just a virtual reality game trip business. And they run so hard and so fast that they burn out without giving it at least one year a fighting chance to get your business off the ground. Now, this year we had some individuals already who actually established their business fairly quickly and were successful and they are successful, uh, you know, but that's because they've committed and they stayed the course. So if you happen to find yourself next year or, you know, wherever it is that you are, uh, not being fully committed to your business and maybe only giving it a couple of months, right? Do take that into consideration. You need to give your business a chance, a fighting chance by being consistent in your actions and growing it and giving it the time needed to grow, right? It's like a seed and it takes time to grow into a plant or a tree. Okay. The next one is uh, the point of no revenue because, right? So this is what you call a, a point of recognition. So if you have a, a strategy for next year, you know where you're moving, uh, but as you are moving through the strategy, there is no revenue, right? You have to ask, there is no revenue because why, right? That means something is not right. There is a problem somewhere. And this stems off from a bad strategy. The thing is, in the real world, many will not know uh, everything about their business because they don't have the experience. So they have a strategy that they develop and you know, if there's things you don't know that you don't know. And then once sometimes you figure it out, right, it could bring you to a point of, hey, I have the strategy, but I'm not making the money that I want to. So this happens because you recognize it. And if that happens and right, you recognize it, you have to come back to gaps in the sequence of your strategy, right? 
The next one is uh, another recognition is there is no more growth, right? Now, I need to make it very clear. Revenue, how much money you're making, and growth, which is how you are expanding the business, these are two very different things, and you don't want to mix them together, right? So one is money. One is am I actually growing my business? Am I growing my clientele? Now, are they interrelated? Of course, but they are different. So uh, if you're not making money, come back to strategy, right? What are the things that you could change? But if maybe you are making okay money, right, and you're happy, but now you might want to take the next step. The question is, what do you need to do now to go from point A to point B, right? Good question. Uh, the no another really big thing, and I am finding myself tackling this this year, uh, is adaptation. I believe 2022 will be a year of business adaptation and doing a lot of things that we may not be accustomed to doing. Let me give you an example. In the manufacturing sphere right now, there are shortages of everything. And so now we have to go from not just buying raw material, uh, you know, I'm putting, you know, basically before we bought components, right? And then we built the trailer frame and we put certain components on the trailer and now we have a trailer. Well, because of shortages, we have to adapt now. And so you could check it out right here in a second. Uh, now we're stamping our own material out of raw material, making things to manufacture the trailers. Here, check it out. This, this is me adapting in real time. <laughs> Get some tape. We'll tape them. Tape them like a three bundles, maybe? Yeah, I think that works. So that was basically having to adapt and making stuff out of raw stuff in order to produce stuff. <laughs> so uh, I, I think that this just that general concept of adaptation in 2022, it will hit many of you, whether you are a new video game truck business owner or Currently in the virtual reality game truck sphere, uh, you might have to bend, right? And to do that, as you adapt, word of advice, don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Simply ask, in order for me to go from here to here, what do I need to do? What are my options, right? And, and that's how you adapt. You ask questions. If you don't ask questions, uh, you might be in trouble, right? And if you're in trouble, you better be asking questions my opinion humbly okay next one is also a bad one that's called an entrenched mindset so uh entrenched mindset meaning my way or the highway that means you uh you have a certain vision right but to get there you are so tunnel visioned that you forget and you miss on many opportunities right and, and that's another uh thing to try and avoid so always keep an open mind Having an open mind doesn't mean that you're not moving forward. Having an open mind means that you're still concentrating on your direction. You're looking at your strategy, but you are not closed down, right? And you are not missing potentially other opportunities. And in the virtual reality game truck business, especially, there's many opportunities, right? When you're talking to people, when you're on taking the phone calls, setting up the clientele, setting up a demo, uh, right, demo of your trailer, going to corporation, a school, after school event. So there's a lot of ways to adapt and not be entrenched in one mindset of, you know what, all I'm going to do is parties on Saturday and Sunday, and that is it, right? I mean, maybe that's what you want, but that's fine. But don't lose sight of a bigger picture coming back to strategy. And again, now in, in the circle, if you don't have a general direction in which you're moving, and if you have a bad strategy, you might fall into the entrenched mindset and not know how you could expand from there. Uh, another one is acting on uh, limited knowledge. So limited knowledge is basically you are trying to make certain decisions about where you're going to take your business without having done the due diligence and understanding the different components of the business in general, right? Which now brings me to uh, 
to my shameless plug, right? If you want to get some online training, click the link below. Uh, it'll take you. It's not a free course, but you know, if that's what you're looking to do because you don't want to act on limited knowledge and you are thinking about getting into the business or you're just getting into the business, but maybe you're not buying a trailer from me, something to consider. So I hope that this helps. I hope that you take the next year, 2022, regardless of how it may unfold, as long as nothing weird happens in the world, uh, it, you know, and, and really run with it. And so just be sure that your strategy is on point. Uh, and another thing I forgot, which is also very important, let, let me write it here. Attitude. Attitude in 2022, 20, it doesn't matter. Attitude is always important. And unfortunately, and I really mean when I say unfortunately, uh, there has been so much negativity recently um, that it may impact many of you, right? Uh, to some point or another, something bad is always happening, and that can bring down our energy with which we work, with which we grow our business. And so it's important that you put yourself in a state of mind that is positive so that if you, you know, you turn on the news or whatever and something negative comes on, it doesn't mean you watch it for the next two hours and then get into that negative fuming mindset of everything's on fire, you know. Stay positive. If you're not positive, running the business is going to be a lot more difficult because your mind's going to be preoccupied on the negative, right? And there's plenty of that to go around. So, uh, again, word of advice, just try to stay away from it. Concentrate on you. Concentrate on your business and things that are truly important. And so I hope that that helped you out. Everyone, thank you so much. This is Lee, the Video Game Truck Guy. I hope you have a super awesome 2022, and I will be uh, talking to you soon.